everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. We have yet another Living Dead doll, as I've been collecting these things for a while. Uh, they're very cool, and i got to say, even though I'm a guy, I like dolls. <laughs> I've got a couple of them. i got two Chucky dolls. i got this. i got Pennywise. Uh, Regan. Well, they, he, they call him Regan, but her name is actually Regan. From The Exorcist. Uh, Ghostface. And a few others. I even got the Bubblehead Nurse from uh, Silent Hill 2. So I've been collecting these for a while. This one just recently came in, literally a couple days ago. And I just got around to doing a video with it. And I did pre-order yet another Wednesday doll. It is the Dancing Wednesday doll. They just uh, actually just recently put it on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, if you want to go ahead and pre-order it, knock your socks off. These are very cool dolls to collect if you want to get into these kind of dolls. They're horror dolls from Mezco Toys or Mezco Figures and stuff. But anyway, we're going to look at the box a little bit and then I'm going to pull the figure out of the box and we're going to talk about it, okay? So let's just go ahead, shut down the carousel here, and let's look at Wednesday. Now, I'm sorry about the glare on this thing because it's, get the plastic thing going on here. Okay, that's what she looks like. We'll see this up close and uh, personal, so I don't have to worry about that. It does come with an accessory. I have to dig into the box and find out what it is. Okay. All right, so now, because this box is decent size, i got to kind of go all the way back. All right. Wednesday. There's the back of the box. See, so, yeah, it's, it's huge. All right. The artwork is amazing on this thing, too. See, yeah, that's cool. Now, you can use this as a background. It would be cool. But I don't do that. I just put them right on my bookshelf. Oh, that's what it is. It's the thing hand. All right. Okay. We'll put it right on our shoulder or something. And here's the side of the box. Okay. Wednesday. All right. You know what I like to see them do, Mezco? If they ever get the copyrights to it is do actual doll versions of the Puppet Master like Blade and the other ones Camera Six Shooter and stuff like that that would be awesome, that would be a serious thing to collect alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down because it's probably going to take me a little bit of time to get this out of the box so I will be right back ok we are back and I noticed uh, within the box it does come in the background so if you ever want to set up your dolly your dolly Set it up on the background. It's a very cool looking design. Alright. It comes with the flap so you can actually lay it flat. Just like this. Yeah. Right. Same thing with the top. Okay. Most of these Living Dead dolls come with these kind of backgrounds. Okay. If you want to keep them. But like I said, I just use mine right on the bookshelf for display purposes only. So there is that. Now we're going to get into Wednesday here. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm so sorry about that, guys, with the vibration. Alright. Alright, that is Wednesday and thing, okay? He is heavily scarred. So let's just get into this thing thing here. Okay, the hand is nicely detailed, too. Mezco does a fantastic job on their detailing. Alright. And let me just get a proper grip there. That is nice, really. Alright. Now the original Wednesday, which came out in the uh, 1960s um, Adams Family, she just recently passed away, okay? May she rest in peace. Then there's Christina Ricci, which is uh, Jenna Ortega's kind of like idol. She wanted to perfect the actual role, and she pretty much did, and she was actually in the, uh, the actual TV series, but she was evil, okay? Uh, but Christina Ricci did a fantastic job uh, as Wednesday too in the movies. Okay. Yeah, the whole entire Anna family thing. It is a well-respected um, movie, TV show type franchise. People love those movies for some reason. This. Right. There's animated uh, cartoons on it. Uh, Three-dimensional types. 
there's all kinds of stuff out there all right but anyway that's the thing so now let's get into shut that down Wednesday now like I said I have another one coming in all right and that's what she looks like up close Yeah, like, what you looking at, motherfuckers? <laughs> the clothing and everything is perfect on this thing. Articulation-wise, most dolls, they move in the arms up here, okay? Not so much in the elbows, in the hands. They do twist a little bit, I think. Hang on, let's check it out. Oh, oh, stop, stop, well... Uh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, they're just more or less just for display purposes. Okay. But anyway. All right. She's got big feet so it can stand on its own. She's got her pigtails or ponytails, whatever you want to call them. All right. This is a very cool looking figure. All right. She wears these big boots, which I think is cool. Now the dancing one, and she's wearing her uh, dress. I'm looking forward to that one because I'm, I'm thinking that one's going to be a really cool looking one just based on the dress alone. And her hairstyle and everything is different in that one. So I'm waiting for that one to come in. All right. But this is my Wednesday doll from the Living Dead Dolls collection of Mezco figures or Mezco toys. Okay, I've been collecting these for a while now. Now articulation wise, you know, most dolls, uh, these are really stiff, so I'm not going to force this. But I'm sure right here at the hinges, they do move back and forth a little bit. Same with the arms. The wrists, not so much. They might, but I don't want to force it and find out. Because you end up snapping them or something. Yeah. All right. I think these are cool. Ever since I first noticed these on uh, the internet, I'm like, holy shit, those are fucking cool. And it's the first time I said, I'm going to collect some dollies. <laughs> I like dollies. <laughs> yeah, these are very cool. Especially if they're horror figures, you can't go wrong. But anyway, Wednesday. From the TV series on Netflix, they're coming out with season two. I'm not sure when, but it will eventually come out. Okay, It is that popular. And Jenna Ortega is extremely popular nowadays because of that TV show. Uh, the TV series, not show. But, um, yeah, she's coming into her own. And she's also doing Beetlejuice as uh, Winona Ryder's daughter. So I'm looking forward to that one, too, when that eventually comes out. Now, the thing about that Beetlejuice um, movie in itself, someone actually went into the studio and stole some of the props from the movie, the original props from the, uh, the original Beetlejuice movie. And that is so sad when people do stuff like that. That is just so wrong on so many levels, okay? But anyway, this is it on this particular figure. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And this is my Wednesday doll. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will be pushing out some more videos once my pre-orders start coming in. And I might sneak one in every so often. Uh, so the wife don't know. I say, it's just a pre-order. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Okay. So I might sneak one in there. Uh, but anyway, I got to move this into the um, into my uh, man cave. And I got to move my Chucky dolls. Because now I'm starting to build up a collection of these living dead dolls. And I'm going to need room for them. All right. But anyway, again, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video. You have yourselves a good day.